Hi everybody, Brian here for QuantLabs.net. Just wanted to go over as we lead into the uh, mar into the workshop for Tuesday. Market should be closing down right now for the global forex. It's 4:19 p.m. Today's date is the July 19th. Okay, so I want to show you what's been moving and why I'm going to bring up to verify that with TradingView on Oanda data. All the data I'm talking about does come from Wanda with the workshop. That's what we focus on, how to manipulate, how to wrangle the data, how to um, connect into the Forex API and trade with it. So I'm going to show you some of the potential here. All right, so here we are on the server kind of thing. These are the ones that took positions today, New Zealand, dollar, and you against the USD, two positions. Um, so here's the uh, charts on trading view on the Mac. Okay, so here's tr here's New Zealand, um, and uh, that's New Zealand forex chart. That is intraday. So you can see that quite that big move up at around twelve to eighteen o'clock and beyond, and it's been pretty choppy since. So. Uh, that is why the system took those momentum trades. Now, I've been seeing a lot of New Zealand against US dollar. This is the five day view. Here is the one minute view. Where the hell is it? Or sorry, one month view. And then the three month view. And the six month view, and so on. Uh, but it has had modes of where it does move up. So the other ones that are currently on the watch list. Now, I'm going to show you something that's very unique that you cannot get through something like uh, MetaTrader the platform. What you're looking at right now are only available from what I've seen is the API. Okay, so this is a long and short for the pairs that are available through the order book of Oanda. You can see there, you can see the total short, total long, and then I calculated a ratio from that. I'm able to also calculate the spread and uh, measure the rate change over the last four hours. Those are the sort of things I like to do every couple of minutes or so. Now in there, what we're looking for, as I'm only focusing on long, is to look for instances of where the longs Pretty well, kind of two to three to two ratio. As as I just shown you, the New Zealand US dollar, you can see there in pretty well real time total long 61, total short 38, and that's percent. So when you get close to two thirds long, chances are the price should move up, as you can see here. So theoretically, that's what we're looking for, and only trade that. You can see there, there's a ratio that's calculated out on the percent of total long total short and it calculates that total long short ratio 1.59 when you look at other um, other currencies you can see or pairs you can see there are quite clear distinctions for uh, shorting as well so here we have euro against the British pound and these instances do not last long they could be short blips depending upon news Right there you have the Euro Japan Yen. You can see that as a shorting. For sure, a shorting opportunity. So and so forth. Again, you can only get that through the API of a window. I don't think uh, from what I've heard from various traders is that that is not available through platforms like MetaTrader. You can only get it through the API. That's why this workshop is very unique on Tuesday. And uh, that's all you really need is this uh, rate change and really Fibonacci for your indicators. They're more like pricing targets and speed of change that you're measuring. Okay, uh, let's go back to the database here thing. So these are the other ones that are on the watch list here. Okay, so now we only have, oh, sorry. So now we have Euro against Australian dollar and the European against the British pound. I just showed you that uh, long short ratio for the, uh, what was it, the Euro against the British pound. 
So now let me just show you the other one, which was the euro against the Australian dollar. So you can see there the long shorts quite distinctive with a total shorts of 20, uh, 75 to uh, 24. So 75% uh, of that pair, euro, Australian dollar, 75% are longing and 25% are shorting. So that will drive up the price. When you look at these charts, uh, there can be some uh, kind of confirmation. I'm going to just show you the Euro Australian. Now, this is the, um, the, uh, the um, Euro Australian dollar on trading view. There you can see it's a sell signal. So, this uh, pattern can be and cannot be confirmed. <laughs> Um, most of the time it can be that's one of those weird pairs but when you look at the intraday of the euro and British pound you can see it's being driven up and that's on a uh, three month three month view there Let's see the um, one day so here this is our one day view and that was a euro against British pound so it's not as strong as the other one at 61% long, 38% short. So when you look at the five day, there's going to be instances of that here on a five day where that price will get driven up because of that ratio between the long and the short. So uh, that can be confirmed, confirmed in this pair. Another pair that's on and off with uh, is the U.S dollar against the um, Swiss franc here it's very mixed it's very flat but there are instances where you do get like here a blurt right there where you do get a up an upswing very quickly um, see if I can find that yeah right here this is, this is what uh, an example of what you cannot really rely on where the USD and the franc Total long at 56% and the total shorts only 43%. Usually that means it's not compelling enough to want to trade it. You want to trade either on the short end where there's more um, extreme of shorts versus the long. And then the other side, the long with the longs easily uh, exceed uh, the shorts. So I want to show you all that and show you one of the reasons why it's not so easy very unpredictable to trade Forex intraday. There are some times where you do get uh, momentum trades that can be reliable. Um, as I said, one of them theoretically should be uh, the New Zealand US dollar, as I thought, like you could see here. But it took some losses, so I need to tweak that to figure out what's going on with that. And the other thing I'm testing, it seems to be kind of consistent, is that pair trading PL. Uh, pair trading position FX. I found I found two pairs that are uh, co-integrate quite nicely uh, and have been holding for quite a while. So uh, that's what we're going to work on the workshop. If you're interested in that, um, it's only a one time I'll be doing this. All you got to do is come to quantlabs.net. I'll just go over to the computer here. Here on the computer. You'll come on the computer and you come under quantlabs.net and then you go to the store right there and then you click that and all you gotta do is click on Python course and get registered in that course right here. Now, I've not been promoting this all that heavily. We just got one this morning. Um, if you come back to the store. So what I just showed you is the infrastructure building uh, course for Python, $247, that will give you access to the other live workshop. Here in the store, we have another one called um, the Elite right here. That Elite membership. That will give you access to everything. 10-year archive plus uh, three-year subscription. Very limited three-year uh, um, subscription to everything I do for the next three years at 997 I've got four slots available for that if you are interested um, and uh, I don't know how long they'll last
last uh, with a sale. I'll be pushing both of these um, over the next uh, probably three days leading up to Tuesday for the workshop uh, Forex. If you want to learn more about this, uh, you can <laughs> get in on it. <laughs> but if you want to know how to use something like this to get a long short ratio built out, I'll be showing you how to do that in the course. Other than that, I'm not sure, but hopefully, uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you on the course Tuesday, uh, July 23rd at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Talk to you later.